my name is Redux. Welcome back to what is now episode four, I believe, of uh, this Let's Build series. Again, I'm still recording this. Uh, it's actually the following week uh, from the first two episodes, but my next two episodes have been the, the weekend after that, and I've still not released any of them. So, <laughs> uh, and I've only ed edited the first two episodes at the moment. Um, but yeah, thanks for coming back. If you've been following the series so far, you'll kind of know where we're at. Uh, if not, just a quick fly around to see what progress we've made. If you want to see any of this uh, and sort of how it started, where we came from, any of the thought, thought processes behind it, skip back to the beginning of the series, give it a quick watch. Um, and if you have any comments uh, or anything for those videos, please make sure to leave them in the comment section. I will read and respond to as many comments as I possibly can. Uh, probably all of them. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that'd be fantastic. So last episode we left off, uh, we'd created the framework for this build right here. Um, and I said that I was going to do this frame and I was going to do this frame over here as well as, as well as a couple of um, general tidy up bits such as uh, I've added some lily pads and I've bone milled this lake here um, also added some uh, sugar cane and also some bamboo you can see there's some string on top of it just to stop it from growing but I think this looks like really it's a really nice effect with the, uh, the bamboo shoots only so they won't grow any further than that so in this episode, what we're going to do is we're actually going to be trying to flesh out one of these buildings. Uh, I think it will be pretty time consuming, so there may well be several jump cuts. Um, but essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to be jumping in, I'm going to be replacing all of this wall with the, the main materials we're going to be for building. Um, and then I think what we'll do is we'll try and get through as much as possible as we can on camera in terms of the detail work. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of work off camera, I'm going to make those replacements for the materials so we've got a good framework that doesn't look quite so crazy and cartoon like and then we can jump on together, get as many details as we can uh, over the next sort of 18 minutes or so to try and round this off around 20 minute episode and um, yeah so I guess I'll see you in a little bit. And here we have it, a little more than uh, a little time has passed. I've been kind of listening to podcasts and listening to music while doing this and really taking my time. Um, maybe got a little bit more than I was expecting done on this, but I think this is the right foundation that we can build off. This gives you an idea of the actual colours that will be going on. So imagine this on, on this building and this building as well. The stables will have a slightly different vibe where you're not going to have the... Uh, dark prismarine roof and you're probably not gonna have the sandstone tones you're gonna be a lot more of the woods uh, in that building there and but I've basically done most of it I've put the color variation in the stairs a little bit of block variation here I took out the wood here and replaced it with stone I just think it fit a little bit better um, and I've just been making some some small changes to the frame where I thought it was appropriate uh, I flew around I knocked out some of the windows um, this window maybe doesn't make much sense, I don't think you'd necessarily look out over the cliff. But I do also think getting lots of natural light into the property is going to be, um, it's always beneficial. I do like working with light in Minecraft. And here's that big window we were talking about that looks over the waterfall. Um, so I've obviously taken shaders off just so I can actually jump in and build with you. Um, I want to make sure that uh, the performance <laughs> of my PC is, is not going to suffer too much. Because um, I don't want the... the quality of the recording to go down for you guys so I do apologize uh, maybe one day when I have a better rig we can build with shaders on all the time if that's something you guys are interested let me know because I do need to upgrade my rig at some stage um, so I think we've got a really good foundation to work off here to be honest and I think the first thing we're going to tackle is going to be the roof um, I think there's a lot of detail we can put in here um, so one thing I am going to quickly do is actually just step this roof out with stairs now I apologize in advance I'm gonna go quiet at some points um, I'm not used to talking while I'm building and while I'm recording um, so there may be some times where I fall a little bit quiet or I just sound like I'm rambling that's just gonna be how it is for a little while guys so I do apologize in advance um, but we're gonna do the same on all of these uh, roofs that just step up one at a time I think we're gonna drop these in now the reason I want to do this will become apparent in just a second. So let's quickly fire this on and then I can touch on that for you guys. Okay, now the reason I am doing this is because uh, if you look at the, the roof, I've put this nice border on. I think it's always nice to have a border to a roof. 
Now the reason I think that it's, in my personal opinion, is nice to have a border to the roof is I don't like having big blocks of one material. We did touch on this previously when I was talking about putting block variation into the bottom here. So one thing I do is I usually put a border, I usually leave the top free but then the bottom and the sides of the roofs I cover. On this one I've, I've put the border on top as well, you know that may or may not stay but the problem is it blends directly into here so I think this does have a nice cut off to show that this is this tiny bit of roof uh, here, that's where that ends and this section actually belongs to this part of the roof, that's why I've defined that. Now another thing you can do here is, if you look at this surface, it's all very flat, right? Uh, if we didn't have the stairs here, uh, like we do here, it's all very one dimensional. This just brings an added layer of depth, which I think is always useful to have in your builds. And I'm actually going to build on that depth by putting some additional sort of structural support on the side here. Let's just quickly fire those on, and already I think that makes it look a whole lot better. It just looks so much more kind of uh, secured down, if you will. Um, personally, it's just my preference on how that looks. Um, if you're build along, building along with me and you disagree, that's your prerogative. That's one of the beauties of creative building, obviously. I'm not going to do the same here, although I could fit it in this section. I just think that this is too small of an area and we really want that colour to be standing out. I don't want too much wood to break through. So we're actually going to leave that um, free for us. So the next thing we're probably going to do here, let's just have a quick fly around and kind of assess the situation. Um, the problem with doing the same thing on these sections of roof is that you would end up having struts coming out like this and they're just going to stand out way too much and it's not going to look good with the build. So the next way we can come in and bring depth in would be to do some designs here. Now initially I said I wanted to put flower boxes on this section of roof. I still think that's going to be a really nice look for us. So I'm actually going to go ahead and put these in. I'm just going to have a quick go at something here. Maybe with some trapdoors on the front. And we could use some trapdoors maybe trapdoor here. Um, and maybe on the ends here. How does that kind of, how's that working for us? It's not, not too bad at all. Um, let me quickly actually, let's kick out these iron bars and we will grab... What flower should we grab? I always like the blue orchid, so let's throw a couple of these in. Now, I will vary up the flowers. I don't want to have just plain blue orchids all the time. And thinking about it, blue orchids make sense since we have the swamp just there. So I think blue orchids will probably be the primary flower. Maybe with some corn flowers or some lilacs as well. Um, Okay, yeah, I kind of like that, how that is. There's also a possibility we could put some hanging leaves down there. I think one thing I may need to do is just quickly up the brightness. Yeah, that's a little bit more clear for me. Okay, so I think the dark oak highlights are going to be really nice. We've got these spruce to show the structural, and then we can have the detailing with the dark oak. So I think if we try and mimic these, this kind of stair pattern we've got around here, um, we could probably get something looking quite nice. So let's have a look. Let's bring that out like this. Okay, that's starting to look okay. And I think here we'll have a three wide flower box. And here, hmm, I'm just having a little think because we could maybe do something like this. I don't know. The problem with the uh, what I call the chocolate block, because it looks like a chocolate bar, the dark oak trap door, is that it's a little bit too far away from the colour of the dark oak stairs, and I don't think I really like that. So I'm going to knock that out briefly, and I think I'm actually just going to be using slabs for the most part. Yeah, I think that's a little bit nicer. I think this block here works quite well as a trim. I think it looks quite nice. It's a little bit different, so we're going to leave that in. For this corner, I think I'm going to leave it for the time being. Um, we probably do want to do something in these corners. The corners are always awkward to work with, so for the time being, uh, maybe as a placeholder, we'll throw a little flower box in there and we'll have a little think about how that's going to end up looking. Again, just putting the blue orchids in here just to represent that these are flower boxes, just to stand out a little bit more. Okay, I kind of like those details that we're throwing in there. So, what I would do next is I'm just going to copy this all around the build. I'm going to put it on the second level and third level as well. 
and then I'll come back to you to see how that's actually shaped, shaping up for us. Okay, so now that I have put all those details around the building, we're definitely starting to get a much stronger picture of how this build is going to turn out, and I'm starting to get really happy with how this is turning out. Um, so all I've done is I just took the simple design that we had here, and I just extrapolated around the building. Now, what I did when I was doing these designs is I was trying to vary up. Sometimes we're going to have flower boxes, sometimes we aren't, and just kind of throwing a little bit of randomness. Um, trying to bring in a little bit of asymmetry as well so for example here we've got a flower box on this side none on this side and instead of doing the grass I just simply put slabs across here with no trap doors in front and it just brings a little bit more of interest your, your eye is kind of drawn in different places and you look around the build a bit more it's just always something again to look out for when you are building so there's a few different random designs sprinkled around uh, here again a slightly different design up here with a sort of a three separate mini flower boxes Again, this all just breaks up the build and brings in a, that little bit more interest for your build. And just as we're here, I've kind of noticed we have not put in uh, our design on here. So let's quickly fire that up as well. And there we go, fantastic. Now that I look at it, I almost think that that one might have been better with without. And again, that just brings more design element to it by having more different things to look at. So we're actually just going to cut that out on that side and leave it on the other areas. Brilliant. So I don't think we're actually too far off completing this build, really. I, I don't want to over detail at this stage. One of the things we will need to do is to change out some of the blue orchids. We'll have some leaves on some of them and some different flowers on some of them as well. But the next thing I would like to do again is just a little bit of off camera work where I want to put a little bit more texture in these walls kind of looking at this here and I'm thinking we could bring in some more colours so I'm actually going to put some strip stripped oak into some of these walls and I'm also going to smatter in some regular sand as well just to break up, break up the textures so bear with me once more quick jump cut and you'll see what that looks like and that's what it looks like simple as that so what I did is I kept these stripped oak to the bottom layer here just to break things up and just make things look a little bit more structured and then I've got the top two layers being in the sand and sandstone. And you can see the smattering of sand. I think that just brings a little bit more of uh, interest. Even from a distance, you can still notice it. It just makes it look like it's not quite as smooth there. And I just personally, I think that's always a good thing to break up the textures, like I've said. Here, I've not really got any blocks that really go with the strip oak, so I've kept it as is. So, we're just going to do some final details now. Um, there will be more details applied to this once the other buildings are in. Uh, we might want to do some some signs or some hanging plants and stuff like that but for now we just want the primary details that are attributed to the build so one thing I will be doing is putting barrels at certain points in the uh, where the logs are now the reason I like putting barrels uh, in these areas is because they've got this uh, these metal bands around them they break up the textures obviously because we've got big chunks of these brown and you've also got these iron things, uh, iron bars around the barrels which really add, kind of will emphasise that there's some real structure there. The other thing I would like to add uh, would be something around here to kind of cover this, uh, this section because I, I kind of don't like the way the shape is by itself. Uh, so really sure what I want to do there. Maybe we put fence gates under here instead. How would that look? Uh, let's go to here. Look at our gates and how would fence gates look if we open them up? Not too keen on that. What if we just ignored those fences entirely? It's not too bad. It's still not quite what I'm after though. For now, let's put it on the other side and we'll live with that. And it might be something I think about further down the line. But for now, I think we'll stick with that design. It's simple, it's it's roughly what I was trying to achieve. I wanted something a little bit more curved. It's a bit too flat for my liking, so I will have to rethink that. The only other thing I really wanted to put in was some bars on the top of the roof. I don't know how this is going to look, but it kind of gives it a little bit more of a, a strange kind of gothic vibe to it as well. Uh, and I was really interested to see how this would look. So I'm just going to pop them on and we're going to see how it looks. Maybe something that I'll have to sit on for a while and, and kind of live with the bars there and then see if that's something that I do want to keep. Okay, that's not too bad at all. Yeah, you know what, I'm pretty happy with that. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go around, I'm just going to put these barrels in uh, where I think it adds a bit of structure. Um, and I might have a think about this design. If I can think of anything, I'll change it. Otherwise, uh, it will just be the barrels. And then we'll have a quick fly around with shaders and I'll talk about the next episode. Well, I've put the barrels in, <laughs> as you can see. I'm just having a little walk around from ground level, seeing how it looks. And I'm really happy with how this has turned out, actually. Uh, let's have a quick fly up, fly around. I've put a little entryway in here. Uh, put the barrels... Uh, whoops. <laughs> put the barrels around the first level only here, uh, where we've got the stroked oak logs. And then on top of these iron bars, I've put the dark oak trap doors. Not sure how I feel about that. I'm kind of 50 50 on whether I like the bars, I'm kind of 50 50 on whether I like the trap doors. I'm kind of. I pretty much hate this <laughs> little window design I've done, but I currently can't think of anything that fits with that cross shaped window I've got there. So, something to have a think about, or if you have an idea in the comments, leave it below. I may well have been a few episodes ahead in that point, but I could always return and improve my designs. One thing about creative, or a beautiful thing about creative, is that you can quite easily come back and sort things out or change things without too much effort. But I'm really happy with this design. I think it really shows um, sort of plenty of detail. It's got plenty of variety. There's a little bit of pop of colour, and I mean, yeah, it's kind of what I was envisioning in my mind. A lot bigger, but yeah, it works. So I'm happy with it. So let's talk next episode. Next episode we will probably not be working on these buildings. We will shift our attention to the farmland and this farmhouse as well. I want to try and get this village as close to done as we can. You can see I've also put some grey wool here. Uh, you may have noticed it earlier and here and here. And I've started laying out areas where I'm going to put just some rocks which just on top of trees they just add a little bit of detail to your area. I'll smatter some more around maybe off camera as well. Yeah, off camera I will be completing this building and this building. Unfortunately I don't have a replay mod so there's no real good way that I can time lapse these. I watched back the time lapse of me digging the this river out and yeah I wasn't the biggest fan so I'm, we might have to wait until the replay mod comes out before we can do um, more time lapses of builds and stuff. But if it is something you would still like to see me do, um, you know the first person building in a time lapse mode, just Put something in the comments and I will try my best to do it, um, or I will do it and we'll just see how it turns out I guess. So yeah, away from camera I'll be doing this building, I'll finish this building, similar design to this. Uh, I'll put probably some more ideas of where we want trees and rocks around, maybe clear a tiny bit more space this way. And then the next episode we'll be working on putting these fields in and completing this farm. But yeah, if you've made it this far once again uh, and you've been following along with the whole series especially. Thank you so much for getting this far. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment or a like below if you did enjoy this and you want to see more of this series. I'd really appreciate that. But for now, and until the next episode, goodbye!